Welcome! This is Learning Grass GIS, tutorial number 4. On this tutorial, I will show you the basics of how to display your grass data into maps and how to use Grass's built-in graphical user interface for 3D visualization. You will open Grass's own graphical user interface to display your raster data and vector maps. Also, you will use various commands to view and manage how your data is displayed. And finally, you will open the 3D Visualization Graphical User Interface to view your grass data in 3D. Before you continue with this tutorial, you should go to the notes and follow the links so you can learn more about the commands we're going to be using on this tutorial. We're going to start by opening our grass program. We're going to select the project location for North Carolina and our user number one, and we'll go ahead and start it. So once our grass GIS Leisure Manager opens, you can see that on the right hand side it will also open the grass gis map display at the same time this is the area where our actual map will be displayed so we're going to go ahead and start with this exercise what we're going to do is we're going to display our elevation data as well as some stream and uh, overpasses and major roads uh, as a map so we're actually going to see what the data that we have is going to look like as a map and we're going to start that by using the command g.region. What this does is going to tell us what, or tell GrassGIS, what the extent of the project that we're working with is. And once we uh, go ahead and start it, we need to, uh, we're going to add the uh, flag dash p. You need to look at the links on the tutorial notes and you, so you can get a, a better understanding of what the commands do and what, are, what other options and flags they all have. So we're going to add the uh, dash p uh, flag, which in this case is going to display the uh, data that we have on that um, region. So once we select command and run the command, we are shown the extents of our project. You know, how far north goes, how far south goes, east, west, and uh, all, as well as other information. Very helpful for the project um, in the, once you start working with more data. So once we have that, we need to start then adding data to our map. So we're going to go ahead and do the display command D and we're going to add a raster uh, file or data bits and we want to use the elevation raster data. So we're going to type elevation and because that's the name of our data, if you remember how to look for it, that's how you will find the data. But just to show you again, we want to find uh, what data we have available for a certain type. We're going to do the uh, G list command and we're going to do the raster data that we want. And as you can see on the list, one of our options is going to be the elevation. And that's what we're going to use on this example um, to start working on it. And also take a look, there's also another layer called Elevation Shades, but we're going to be using that too. So, again, so we're going to go back and we're going to display this elevation data as a map. So we're going to go ahead and add our raster. I'm sorry. We're going to display the raster. Oops. And we want the elevation data bits to show up. Elevation. Okay, once we have the elevation, We said, whoops, sorry, we hit enter. And you're going to have on your right hand side the map, the elevation data is going to show up as a map, starting to show up as a map. We want to add some shading so we have some depth perception of what this map will look like. So we're going to use the command, the his, H I S, and again, look at the notes for the links. So you get a, a better understanding what these commands do and the flags and options that we'll be using. One of them is the H. We want to, again, the base map is going to be elevation, which is that we want to show with some depth perception. And another option it has is the I command or module. And we want to make that the other data bits that I showed you earlier, which is the elevation shades. Okay. And once we do that, we want to go ahead and hit enter. Oops, I misspelled that. Shades, elevation shade. Oh, it's only one shade. So elevation shade. 
This command will add some shading to our map on the right, so we will have some kind of a depth perception. It's not a 3D per se, it just gives me the illusion that it's a 3D map by using shades and giving us that depth perception. So, but this looks good, but now we need to add some other type of data on it, you know, maybe roads, uh, any rivers that I might have, maybe bridges. So we're going to add all those three and we're going to do that like this. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, display command. I'm sorry, yes, display. So it's going to go DV and we want a data type of vector, vector data type. So we're going to go ahead and type D for display vector and we want the, we want to show the uh, streams. So we type streams and we want to give it a color so we can distinguish it from what we have. And color color equals to let's make it blue, you know, after all, all water is blue. And we go ahead and tell it to display it by hitting enter. And on your right hand side, you're gonna start looking or um, seeing what the uh, your data that you're adding is looking like. Let's add more data. We're gonna do the uh, same with uh, some roads. So we're going to display some roads. Oops, so we're going to type it here, sorry. Displayed vector roads major, sorry. And let's make it a color yellow. So once we hit enter, it takes a couple of seconds to process the data and on your right hand side again you see the roads already displayed in yellow we're gonna do the same now for some uh, just put some bridges on so we can get a better picture of what these roads are so again we do our display vector type we want overpasses over overpasses and we want to have an icon show up as the uh, indication where the bridges are so we use the parameter icon and then we want to use what type of icon? You need to look at the notes. There's links there where you can see what type of icons you can use. We want to use the icon bridge on the set extra. Oops, sorry. This will, this will give us the um, bridge looking kind of icon. And we will give it a size that we can look. Not too small, not too big. I'll make it 10. And we want to make color also that is going to be distinguishable from the data we already have in there so but the parameters for the icons or any solid object is got a little bit different so you need to read the notes uh, for the links to give you an idea in this case the parameter is f call as in fill color so the inside of the, I the icon will be the color we tell it to and we want it to be red so as soon as I hit enter and starts processing it, the uh, bridges are going to show up red on the display on your, on your right hand side. And it takes a couple of seconds for it to come up. And as you can see now, we have a map with some elevation with shades that gives us the perception of depth. <laughs> Shit. We're going to do the uh, same with uh, some roads. So we're going to display some roads. Oops, so we're going to type it here, sorry. Displayed vector roads major, sorry. And let's make it a color yellow. So once we hit enter, it takes a couple of seconds to process the data and on your right hand side again you see the roads already displayed in yellow we're gonna do the same now for some uh, just put some bridges on so we can get a better picture of what these roads are so again we do our display vector type we want overpasses over overpasses and we want to have an icon show up as the uh, indication where the bridges are so we use the parameter icon and then we want to use what type of icon? You need to look at the notes. There's links there where you can see what type of icons you can use. We want to use the icon bridge on the set extra. Sorry. 
this will, this will give us the um, bridge looking kind of icon and we will give it a size that we can look not too small not too big I'll make it 10 and we want to make color also that is going to be distinguishable from the data we already have in there so but the parameters for the icons or any solid object is going to be a little bit different so you need to read the notes uh, for the links to give you an idea in this case the parameter is f call as in fill color so the inside of the, I the icon will be the color we tell it to and we want it to be red so as soon as I hit enter and starts processing it the uh, bridges are going to show up red on the display on your, on your right hand side and it takes a couple of seconds for it to come up so as you can see now we have a map with the uh, elevation data that along with the uh, shading give us a map with the perception of depth we also have some roads you can see some rivers and bridges so this is how our data is displayed in grass gis and a continuation i'm gonna i'm sorry next i'm gonna show you how to do this with the uh, grasses uh, own um, user interface uh, the graphical user interface built in into grass gis so now that you know how to do this with the uh, command prompt i'm going to show you how to do it uh, using the graphical user interface that grass has, um, has. and we're going to do that we're going to start it up by using the uh, gis.m command this will bring up our uh, graphical user interface and we go ahead and hit enter So it will take a couple of seconds, but after it's done, um, it finishes opening. This is what you get. You get the um, GIS Manager North Carolina. Well, that's the uh, location we're using. But this is the uh, graphical user interface built in into our uh, into our Grass GIS software, and it's just like the other one on your right hand side. It's going to show up the uh, display window, and you can see we still have our stuff on the background. Uh, this is where our map is, but you can see it because this thing just went over it so what we just did we're gonna do that now using our graphical user interface some of you might find it easier to use this some of them some of you prefer the command but I will show you both and see make your own mind which one you like so we go our on the uh, manager the layer manager and we want to tell it or we want to bring up a few layers the first layer we want to bring or the data we want to use will be our elevation data and we're going to go ahead <clears throat> sorry we're going to go ahead into the icons here if you hover over them it will display what you want on them and in this case we're going to use the uh, raster layer manager and we're going to bring up our elevation data and what we want to use the elevation maybe we're going to go ahead and the, uh, if you look at the notes, um, we want to use this section here. We're going to go ahead and use our elevation. And we want to give it the depth perception with the shading that we use on the other one. And we use that as the shade file. And once we did that, we go ahead and on the display section of it, on this icon right here, it's the uh, display active layers you go ahead and select it click it and it will display our layer that we just created just like in the previous exercise it's going to give us our layer with the shading giving us that depth perception that uh, looks better and we want to add just uh, in like just like on the other one we want to add some roads some uh, bridges and the map i'm sorry and the uh, rivers so we got our on this icon here which is our vector layers you can add some vector layers and we want to use I don't know if you can see everything there but we all mostly use just this area here uh, later on once we get more work done then we'll work on this but for now we're going to use the vector 
and we want to let's start with streams again so we look for the stream data set and we want to draw yellow I'm sorry blue so we select blue and that's it also we need for this data set we tell again to display it or we draw it and you can see now it has the blue lines which are our rivers and let's add another one this time the uh, roads so as you remember it's called roads major we go all the way to roads major click ok and we might um, let's make them yellow again so just like on the other one and again tell it to redraw it so we can see the roads once we added them so now we have again the roads just like in the other exercise and we're going to add some bridges so again vector select our map data set for bridges which is called overpasses and right there we uh, this is the parameter i was talking to you about the fill color so we want this to be uh, red and draw lines it's okay we can leave them black but so it can look all better we'll make everything red so once we do that we go ahead and tell it to redraw it so we can see where the bridges are and it takes a couple of seconds but once it's done you can see that on your right hand side it shows the bridges as a dots but we don't want that right we want to use the icon I forgot that so here you can see it says point symbols that's an icon and right now it's on the set basic set it's as a circle we want to change that we want to actually to look like a little bridge right so we go click on icon and our icon look at the links and there's um, uh, information there how to get or what the icons look like and where to get them so the bridge icon we want is on the extra set and we want it to look like a bridge so we select bridge okay and let's make it 10 so we actually 15 a little bit bigger so we can look at it and we tell it again to redraw it with the new information and now it will show up with the bridges bridge looking icon so we did the same exercise using our graphical user interface and the command prompt and hopefully you guys can decide which one you guys like better and what we're gonna do next we're gonna open this file using our 3D visualization tool and for that we're gonna go back to our command prompt all right so to do it to bring up the uh, 3D engine on the uh, using the uh, on grass graphical user interface we go back to our map that we created earlier and as you can see on the display portion of it there are several icons one of them is to bring out the uh, 3D by just clicking this icon here. So once we click this one, this is the NVIZ icon, it will take a couple of seconds, but it will give us the same map we got on the previous exercise uh, displayed on 3D. Um, and this is the map. As you see, is the same map as we had before. And again, you can play with the toggle switches here. So closer, farther, you know, change how you map this place to you. So that, in a nutshell, that's how you bring out your uh, 3D visualization tool on both the uh, command prompt and using the graphical user interface. So whichever one you prefer, it will give you the same result. This is the end of tutorial number four. Uh, for uh, Grass GIS. Um, by now, or with this tutorial, you should be able to um, know how to open the Grass GIS uh, graphical user interface. Also, you will be familiar with some of the uh, basic commands to view and manage how your uh, data is displayed. And also, you should be able to know how to uh, bring up or how to start the uh, 3D visualization graphical user interface. 
Um, if you think of anything else that uh, you could have learned from this tutorial, let me know. Just leave me a note or an email and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thank you for taking a look at these tutorials and hopefully you're learning something. And uh, there's my information where you can find me and you can send me an email if you want. But uh, we'll be coming up with tutorial number five pretty soon. Thank you.